I'm gonna be giving ChatGPT $100 to start an online business and see how much money I can make in the next 30 days. I've got a game plan here. We already had a positive response. I've got the call. I think we have to sail. ChatGPT doesn't know what it's talking about. I don't think we're interested in This is more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. first thing that we need to do is to give ChatGPT a prompt, and this is the prompt that we're going to be using. You are Hustle GPT, an entrepreneurial AI, and I am your human business partner who can act as a liaison between you and the physical world. This is official business. The only problem? I'm very dumb. I have no skills or expertise in anything. You have $100, and your only goal is to turn this into 10 k in the next 30 days. So. What do I do? So ChatGPT gave me the game plan. We'll create a content creation and social media management service for small businesses. Step one, identify our niche. We should focus on the eco-friendly business niche. Proceed with setting up our online presence and creating a portfolio of sample content. Number two, set up your online presence. So now I wanna know what is gonna be our website name and how do I even create a sample portfolio? So ChatGPT said our website name can be ecofriendlymediasolutions.com or greencontentcreators.com. I kinda like the name Green Content Creators. So now I'm gonna use this website called Instant Domain Search and see if the website name's available. And look at that, it is. Create a simple but professional website using a free website builder like Wix or WordPress. Include information about our services, pricing, and contact details. I'm going to be using this software called High Level. And the reason why I want to use High Level is because it has a lot of the other features that we are going to need built into the software. So things like a social media scheduler, the ability to bring on clients and invoice them, drag and drop website builder with custom templates already made, a CRM so we can manage all of our contacts and automation so I don't have to do so much manual work. These are actually just some of the features that are included in the software. And you can see that we're saving over $7,000 per month by utilizing the software. And the nice thing is, is that they give a very generous trial. So if you use my link in the description, you'll get an extended trial that's not even available on the website. So make sure you check my link in the description. I've got a game plan here from ChatGPT. So ChatGPT said that we have to develop our brand. So we have to finalize our logo, create a brand style guide, color palette, typography, just everything about like what is the image of the brand. I'm not going to spend too, too much time on this because I don't think that uh, a brand is the most effective use of our time. Building a website, I believe is going to be important just for something that somebody can go to. I also like creating websites because it also helps me come up with how the offer is going to be presented. Create social media profiles. Even if there's not that much content on it, we can create some content and you know I'll, I'll use ChatGPT for that. So website's going to be really important, the image and just what our offer is. So there's a lot to do and I'm very um, nervous. I'm going to keep you guys posted on how it goes. Good morning. It is day three. I know what you might be thinking. What happened to day two? Well, day two, I didn't get very much done. I decided to turn our Instagram page into a portfolio. The only problem is I have not actually created the page because I ran into some issues with Instagram. The account has been permanently disabled. So I need to try to figure out a way around that. So that way I can actually have a page to show a portfolio of our work. I also updated our website to keep the little title bar a little bit more clean. Just learn about our company and read our blog, as well as putting a little chat widget down here. What I'm gonna do today is to create our Instagram page, schedule out all of our portfolio posts across our social media. I'm also gonna install a Facebook and Google Pixel onto our website. That way in the future, if we decide to retarget people with ads, we'll be able to have all of their pixel data. I'm almost finished with all the technical and foundational parts of the business. And then the next step is probably going to be reaching out to people to see if they want our services, which I am most nervous about. I tried setting up the Instagram account for the second time now, so I submitted my verification and hopefully that gets approved soon. That way I can post onto all of the social media accounts. So I just set up the Google and Facebook pixel IDs. So that way I'm able to track whenever somebody visits the website, I can then in the future retarget them with ads. So now what I'm gonna be doing is just updating ChatGPT, what it is that we've done and seeing what it is that I need to do today. Great job on your progress so far. Here's what you can do today. You should send personalized emails to businesses that have visible email addresses on their websites or social media profiles. Email outreach tends to yield the best response rates. All right, so ChatGPT says that we should do a Google search, go to company websites and their social media profiles, and then an online directory. So this sounds like a pretty slow process, but I'm just gonna follow what ChatGPT says, go 
go on Google, try to find some different online eco-friendly businesses, and then just start sending the email that ChatGPT told me to send. Um, I didn't get very much work done today either. Today, we're gonna be going out to a book fair uh, with my wife, kind of feeling a little disappointed in myself. Hopefully, I can talk to my friend this weekend and he can give me some advice as far as scraping because again, I haven't done any scraping of cold leads. So yeah, it's um, a little concerning, but hopefully I'll be able to, you know, finish this and I'm going to push on. And right now it's just, I think we're just going to start having to contact people. Let's put our yeah, so faces on. <laughs> Hey everybody. So I have my buddy, uh, Carson Fox here. He is an expert in all things cold outreach and lead generation. I have to get to 10K in 30 days. What do you think would be the best way to be able to reach this goal? Uh, realistically, if we want to get 40 clients, I think honestly, you should probably try and just be sending three to 500 messages a day. And so I probably would be thinking about charging more money per client because that makes it a lot easier. And I, I know a lot of people that have made $50,000 a month, but they were charging $3,000 per client. Really outreach is just about sending as many messages as humanly possible at all times. I would, uh, shoot for hundreds of messages per day, not 55. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident as far as the direction goes after talking to Karsten. One of the big things that I took away from the call with Karsten is that I need to change my offer to have it be of a little bit more of a high price point. I decided to increase the price of my offer to $1,900 instead of charging $250 per client. I think it'd be much easier to sell one person on a higher ticket price point than a bunch of people on a lower ticket one. I'm gonna be specifically targeting solar panel installation companies. We're also not gonna be running any paid ads. So we're only gonna be helping people that have an email list and phone numbers attached to them. So if they don't have a list of emails and phone numbers, then I'm not going to be able to specifically help them. But I feel a lot more confident now because instead of having to try to get 40 clients within one month, all I really need to do is get six clients in one month. So now that we have our offer, I'm going to set up the automations for the text messages and for the Instagram and Facebook. That way we can start generating some conversations and hopefully turn those into calls. The Instagram account was finally also approved. So I'm going to go ahead and also create some of those different portfolio examples on our account. That way there's just something there and people can and see what it is that we could potentially create for them. All right, so I just scheduled out some of our Instagram posts using the post scheduler over here, as you can see, and let's see if they posted. And they did, just like that. And then if we check Facebook, it should also be on Facebook as well. All right, so this is crazy. We just started sending out these messages through the automation to all these different business pages. And this company just reached out to us. So we already had a positive response. I'm feeling a little positive right now. Uh, hopefully we get some good results. All right, so it's the end of day four and I am feeling pretty good right now. I feel like I got the ball moving and the automations really helped. You know, I got some positive responses and I've, I, we actually got our first booking today, which is really crazy. Uh, just like that, I have my first call coming on uh, Monday, which is in two days. All right, today is day six of our 30 day challenge. Today, we've actually got some action because we have a call scheduled with a solar installation company. So I'm gonna be telling ChatGPT that I have a sales call. What do I do and what do I even say? So ChatGPT says that we need to do some preparation beforehand. It says that I should start with a warm introduction. Next is saying that we need to set the agenda. I'm supposed to ask a bunch of open-ended questions. Number five is present the solution. Six, address objections and concerns. And then number seven, close the call with clear next steps. And then lastly, thank the prospect for their time. Let them know that they can expect to hear from us again. So I feel like this is a pretty solid explanation of what it is that I need to do. So I'm going to take what ChatGPT just told me, and then I'm going to call the prospect up at the time. Hopefully they answer. Hopefully we can have the call. And then hopefully we make a sale before the end of this week. So uh, that would be pretty cool. All right, I've got the call with the uh, solar panel business right now. I'm, I'm really nervous. I don't know what to expect. Uh, let's, let's give them a call and hopefully they pick up and uh, we'll go from there. So they did not pick up. Um, yeah, nobody nobody showed up to the call. So uh, I guess I just have to keep reaching out to people. Uh, we're going to keep trying. So I'm just going to keep 
Xiaomi Ma. I think the most important thing right now is to work on the automations for the SMS. My friend Karsten was actually kind enough to give me a lead list of different solar install companies that I can reach out to. So I've got the text messages going automatically through my phone right now. So I've got this Google Maps scraper and I'm using the free version right now just because it gives you 10 contacts per area. So I'm just going to test this out, but I'm going to call it a wrap for today. I feel pretty good because we were able to set up the automations. We found some alternative tools and then tomorrow I'm going to try to figure out some other strategies that we can use in order to try to reach out to more prospects. Today is day seven and we have zero dollars out of the 10,000 that we're trying to reach so far. Since yesterday and today, I sent over 250 messages. We've had one text message that received a positive response, but all of the other ones have either just been not interested, stop, how'd you get my number? I'm debating if I should start cold calling these businesses right now. I know that cold calling can take a lot longer, but it is a lot more personal than let's say just receiving a text message out of the blue. The idea is that I should be constantly outreaching to different businesses. So there should always be some type of automation running, whether that is a Facebook message, an Instagram Instagram page message or a text message going out. We should always be sending some type of messages out to people just to be able to get our name and our message out there. So I pulled the information from Google Sheets. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take all of these phone numbers, put it into the text message app, and then I'm also going to take all of these Facebook profile URLs, put it into the Facebook automation. So we ran into an issue. Facebook is not allowing me to send messages right now. It says that I've sent too many recently, which is interesting because the tool that I was using was very intentional about spacing these messages out. And my personal account is also tied to my ad account. So if my personal account gets kicked out, then that could affect my other businesses. So I'm very hesitant about Facebook. So I don't know if I want to keep trying this right now. I think the only thing that I'm really comfortable right now doing is maybe cold calling. So This is Ryan. Hey, Ryan. This is Julian. We help solar companies generate more sales, essentially. I'm definitely interested because that's definitely different than anybody else that's ever called me. I get a million of these phone calls, people trying to sell us leads and all this kind of stuff. And literally, you brought something completely different to the table. <laughs> I'm just going to be completely honest, man. I'm super busy this week and next week. So can we do a 12 o'clock May 15th? Got it. I'll send you a calendar invite for that. It was nice talking with you, Ryan, and, and talk with you uh, then. Wow, that was... Uh, unexpected. I, I feel like I fumbled the call, but that was a good reaffirmation. And I'm, I'm thinking I might need to change my messages that are being sent automatically. Go a little bit more straightforward in that because I feel like I was fumbling that messaging. I'm excited. That was that was pretty cool. So last week was our first full seven days within the Hustle GPT challenge. So I'm going to be trying maybe some different strategies during this week and maybe even speaking with another agency owner to see how it is that they actually generate their leads and close clients. All right, so I've got my friend Keaton Walker here. He is an agency owner. My name is Trent Russell. I worked in tech sales for five years. My name is Ivan. I've been in the solar industry for about three and a half, coming up to four years now. ChatGPT told me that I need to try to start an eco-friendly business. And right now I'm targeting solar. ChatGPT doesn't know what it's talking about. We don't need eco-friendly businesses. We need profit businesses that actually pay money. Get very clear on what business you want to be in. And once you understand that, you can then develop who is your buyer persona and what problems they have so that you can then solve that problem. And the bigger that problem, the more money you can charge them. If you only had $100, what would you do differently if you had to start from scratch? You can find people on LinkedIn, adding a bunch of people, adding a lot of connections. But in your situation, the, the funds are very limited. So outside of just paying people money, they got to be bought into your vision and where you're trying to go. I'd reach out to everybody I know that's a business owner and I would ask them what problems they're experiencing if there's anything I can help them out with. And I guarantee there's somebody there that has a, a valuable enough thing to probably make 10K just off of the one business owner. So after talking with Ivan, I realized that I'm gonna need to start reaching out to people on LinkedIn. So what I'm gonna do is there's this tool called Wileaxy, but what's nice about Wileaxy is that they actually do have a free trial. I'm gonna include a link to them in the description so you can use that as well if you decide to do some LinkedIn prospecting. Go to set this up and then we're gonna start sending some messages out to people that are attached to larger solar companies. Time to go. So the next thing I have to do is set up the Instagram automation. That way I can get those messages going as well. And I can have both automations firing on all cylinders. All right, I set up the LinkedIn automation and the Instagram automation. Honestly, this is probably something that I should have done a while ago. The next thing is just gonna be starting to do more cold calling again. 
This is Julian. Do you do solar installs? Yeah, we're a consulting group. We're a small veteran-owned business that helps solar companies book more qualified calls through their existing leads. Calling me to sell any leads, sir? No, no, we don't. We don't sell leads. What are you doing, sir? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Why are you calling me again? I had a question. If who I might be able to speak with about? I can answer the question, sir. What is the question you have? We're an appointment setting agency for solar companies. Wow. We have a miscommunication here, sir. I'm in sales just like you, trying to help you out here. You set appointments. Either way, we don't buy leads or appointments or whatever, but I so much appreciate you calling, okay? Have a good one. Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> that guy was uh, very upset. I don't know why. Just take a breath. <sighs> On to the next. On to the next. Hey, uh, this is Julian. Do you guys do uh, solar installs? Do you guys do solar installs? Uh, do you do solar installs? Hey, this is Julian. Uh, calling to see if you guys do uh, solar installs. Thank you. Hey, this is Julian. Do you do solar installs? Hello, this is Julian. Hi, Julian. It's Justina. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm well. Yeah, so we are a full service marketing agency. We're not. I don't think we're interested in this type of experience right now. This is definitely not the direction we're going in. But thank you so much. Okay. All right, thank you. Not good, not good. This is more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. You know, I know I know that it's possible, but you know, how long can you go without seeing any results before you're just like, okay, is there some magical solution out there that I don't know about that somebody has? I don't know what's actually gonna happen. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. LinkedIn. <laughs> blocked my account. So I haven't actively used this account too, too much. So they probably thought that, you know, this is suspicious. So um, I keep on having to relearn this lesson that you really need to warm up your accounts before you can start trying to send a lot of message or invite. It just keeps, keeps happening over and over again. So I just realized that the Instagram automation spot was not working. Um, there was an error, so I missed out on a whole day of being able to send out Instagram messages. But um, I did reset it up and now it should be working again. But I think the lesson learned here is always make sure that the stuff that you're running, uh, that it's actually working before you just press play and then let it run and disappear. The TikToks I think are going actually pretty well right now. Everyone is getting a few views, which is not bad, better than I expected. All right, so it happened again. Uh, TikTok still is blocking even my newest video that I just posted 34 minutes ago. I don't know why, but they keep doing this. And if I go and appeal it, they will allow the video. It doesn't matter because then the video performance will not work. So luckily some of the messages that I've been uh, sending on Facebook, we've been getting a response. And LinkedIn, Instagram, I am getting responses from people, which is really cool to see. I need to get more calls on and I don't have enough calls. That's, I think that's the biggest problem right now. Hello. Hey, this is Julian. We were talking on Facebook about uh, helping you get some more calls. Yeah, so what is it that you guys do? You got five minutes of my time. We're a digital marketing agency, but we work a little bit different than most. So yeah, I'm not a good fit for you because I'm already doing that. You're not doing anything that we're not doing. I, I thought that you were doing something different. I wouldn't be a good fit for you, to be honest. I thought it was something different. Got it. But um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't want to make you wish you fun. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Take care. Have a good weekend. All right. Well, all right. <clears throat> Guess, uh, Nobody's interested. So. This is Ryan. Hey Ryan, this is Julian. I'm definitely interested and literally you brought something completely different to the table. <laughs> so can we do a 12 o'clock May 15th? So I've got the sales call today with Ryan. It's happening in just a few minutes here. I'm just waiting for him to show up. So <sighs> I'm nervous, definitely nervous. Fingers crossed, hopefully everything goes well. What's up dude, sorry. <laughs> no problem. How are you, Ryan? Doing good. I definitely like what you got. This is the first time someone's presented it to me this way. Dude, I've had millions of phone calls. <laughs> you're the one that got through um, just because you're different, and I like that. And then I've got your number, so I'll just follow up with you within the next day or two. Don't worry. I'm definitely going to follow up with you. I'll put an Excel sheet together and get you a lead list, and then we can go, go from there, okay? All right. Well, I appreciate that, Ryan. I'll look forward to talking to you later. All right. Sounds good, Julian. All right. Take care. Bye.
Uh, that was recall. Uh, I think, I think we have to sail. Wow. Yeah, that that was good. Um, good call. <laughs> That's it. If you ask ChatGPT to make you $10,000 in a month, it's gonna tell you to follow steps X, Y, and Z. So I went into this challenge thinking that it was gonna be easy because I have an AI powered business partner who's gonna tell me exactly what I need to do and how to do it. But I found myself needing to talk to experts who had experience in the space because when I would just follow ChatGPT's advice, things didn't always go according to plan. You know, it took me seven years to make my first million dollars, seven years to make my first $100,000 month, and seven years to make $10,000 in a single day. And I don't say that to brag, but to remind myself that things take time, energy, and perseverance. So I didn't walk away with $10,000, but I did walk away at the end of this challenge with something that I think is even more valuable. Another month of experience on this lifelong journey of entrepreneurship.